Hello, good evening, everyone. This is a question that came in Indian Economic Service, paper one, question one, A, 2021 paper. Let us have a look at the question. The demand and supply functions are given to you. The demand function is given to you as this, 6 minus x whole square, and the supply function is given to you as 14 plus x. You have to find consumer surplus under pure competitive market. Okay. Now, remember that what is a demand curve? A demand curve basically represents the relationship between price and quantity demanded. Similarly, a supply curve is also defining the relationship between price and quantity supplied. Equilibrium is defined where demand is equal to supply. So, equilibrium is defined where demand is equal to supply. What is consumer surplus? Consumer surplus is area above the price below the demand curve. Mathematically, you can go ahead and you can find consumer surplus like this. So, beta, if I look here, suppose this is my demand curve. Suppose this is the price that exists. At this price, this is my quantity. I can shade area. So, if I integrate this curve, I will get area under the curve. So, when I integrate the demand curve, I will get area under the curve. For consumer surplus, I only need this much. And how can I get this much? By when I integrate, I have got all this entire area. If I subtract the area of the square, that means how do I find this area? Rectangle or square? Length into breadth. So minus PQ. Then I will be left up with this remaining area. So consumer surplus can be defined by integrating the entire uh, demand curve from zero to equilibrium quantity and subtracting that squared that square area square or rectangle this area this area by subtracting this area right when you integrate you get the entire area you subtract this you get the in between area okay so now beta let's just find out the equilibrium now look at the demand curve given to you in this case in this case the demand curve given to you is 6 minus x whole square this is a parabola. This is how this parabola looks like. Right? So, when x is 0, uh, sorry, x is 6, y is 0. So, it becomes a parabola with x is equal to 6. Now, try and understand, we are not concerned with the upward sloping part of the demand curve. We are only concerned with the downward sloping part of the demand curve and that is what we will consider. So, so if you consider this point, beta, what happens when x is 0? When you put x as 0, you get price as 36. So that means this is 36 and this is 6. And I'm only concerned with this part of my demand curve. Now comes the supply curve. The supply curve is given to you as 14 plus x. So when x is 0, this is 14. Right? Supply curve is 14 plus x. So when x is 0, price is 14. Now, beta, we know that equilibrium can be found out by equating the two. I need the equilibrium price, right? So, when I go ahead and I equate the two, I say 6 minus x whole square is equal to x plus 14. You equate demand to supply. Open this up. This will give you 36 plus x square minus 12x is equal to x plus 14, right? So, this will give you x square minus 13x plus 22 is equal to 0. Just use completing the square method. 13x can be written as 11x and 2x, right? And you will get either x is 2 or x is 11. So, you will get two values of x, two values of uh, the quantity. But beta x cannot exceed 6 because then my demand curve will be upward sloping. I want my demand curve to be in the downward sloping part. 
So x cannot exceed 6. So the only possible value of x will be 2. When x is 2, what will be your price? Price is 14 plus x from the supply side. So it will be 16. So we have got that my equilibrium price is 16 and equilibrium quantity is 2. Now I need to find the consumer surplus. How can I find that? Integrate the demand curve from 0 to 2. So you will get this entire area. Subtract this rectangular area so that you can get this area in between. This is what we want to do. So what will we do? We will integrate the demand curve from 0 to 2. And we will subtract the area of the rectangle. That means 16 into 2. Right? Now, integration is simple. I can just open this up also better. So 6 minus x whole square will be 36 plus x square minus 12x minus 32. When you integrate this, what will you get? Integration of 36 will be 36x. x square will be x cubed by 3. 12x will be 12 into x square by 2. From 0 to 2 minus 32. Right? Put x as 2. Minus put x as 0. So when you do this, this is simple integration. Leaving it up to you, you will get the answer as 56 by 3. So the consumer surplus in this case will be 56 by 3. That's the answer to your question. Okay. Thank you.